Hello to all machine learning lovers. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can solve binary classification problems using logistic regression models and how we can implement it. So let's keep watching my videos and don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you. Okay guys, let's see the slides. The first question that you may ask is what is logistic regression? The logistic regression is a machine learning model which is used for binary classification problems and it's used when dependent variable is categorical or in the other hand it's mainly used in those kind of classification problems which the target value is yes or no, true or false, one or zero. As an example we're going to diagnose a person uh, which is who is a diabetic or non-diabetic so here we've got only two classes here uh, yes or no diabetic or non-diabetic so we use the logistic regression in this classification problem uh, this model will grab some features like sugar BP illness and insulin level and the output would be summarized in only two classes the diabetic or non-diabetic yes or no one or zero or the other example can be of whether an email is a spam or not or for example uh, this user is a spam or not uh, is fake or not in these examples we use the logistic regression models so but you may ask me this question why we don't use the linear regression uh, if we use the linear regression instead of uh, logistic regression in classification problems we may face some problems but uh, before using the logistic regression I brought an example for you here that I use the linear regression for classification problem let's see what's happening here at this example we've got some data points uh, which are allocated uh, some of them half of them are allocated to uh, class 1 and the reminded data points are allocated to class 0 we've got a threshold here which uh, when the predicted value is upper than the threshold so uh, we allocate the class 1 for the data point and when the predicted value for uh, uh, some data points which are lower than uh, the threshold it's allocated to class 0 so this threshold is uh, practical here uh, okay uh, as an example if you look at the data point x1 you will see that the predicted value would be 0.2 which is lower than the threshold so it's devoted to class 0 and also for uh, x2 uh, you will see that uh, the predicted value for data point x2 is uh, 0.6 which is upper than which is greater than the threshold value so it's between the threshold and number one it's devoted to class one so it seems that everything is working well but uh, there are some problems here as an example in case 3 if you look at uh, the data point x3 you will see that the data point uh, predicted value would be the y value which is greater than one so it's an unknown class because uh, we, s we know that if a predicted value is between the threshold and number one would be devoted to class one but it's greater than one so we are not able to allocate any class for this data point and also for x4 data point you will see that the predicted value would be lower than zero so again it's not between zero and the threshold value it's uh, lower than uh, zero so it's less than zero uh, and the predicted value uh, is a, uh, is uh, a number which is uh, lower than zero and uh, the data point is not able to be devoted to any class or the other problem here is the error rate we've got some wrong uh, misclassification data points we will face uh, the misclassification because if uh, suppose that L2 line 2 is our fifth line and we've got some data points here which is uh, for example the first data point or the second one 
uh, data point which is devoted to class one and we know that but here the fit line the linear regression model uh, will recognize that this uh, data point is allocated to class 0 because the predicted value is less than 0.5 so it would be allocated to class 0 and uh, this is the error so we've got the high error rate in using linear regression instead of logistic regression in classification problems okay so now we are going to use uh, the logistic regression classifier and just we want to know that uh, how logistic regression classifier works. Uh, at this example we use a linear regression for these data points and we know that uh, we will face some problems as I told you misclassification or uh, uh, some data points predicted value or upper or lower than the threshold. So if uh, you see the equation of linear model which is uh, y is equal to b plus uh, b cross into x uh, we found out that we are not able to use uh, this for classification binary classification problems because some data points are allocated to class 0 and some data points are allocated to class 1 we've got only two classes but uh, this linear regression is not uh, suitable for this uh, type of problems. What we do here, the logistic regression is, uh, uses the sigmoid function. The sigmoid function is a, uh, has an equation which uh, number one is divided to one plus e with power of y minus y, which will represent this uh, uh, sigmoid line for us, sigmoid function for us. Uh, and uh, the sigmoid function uh, has uh, a feature which any real value which is given to sigmoid function the target and, or the predicted value would be between uh, 0 to 1 so the logistic regression will get any uh, x value or data points and the target value would be a number between 0 and 1 so uh, in logistic regression, when we uh, replace the linear uh, regression equation instead of the y value, we will have this uh, kind of equation here, uh, which is devoted to the logistic regression model. So each value of uh, each data point here, which is given to this equation, would have a predicted value between 0 and 1. So by this sigmoid function, we are able to uh, recognize uh, the target value of each data points better than using the linear regression. And we wouldn't have uh, uh, those kind of problems at all. Uh, but maybe in some situations, uh, the logistic regression uh, will uh, face the misclassification problem, but uh, mostly it will uh, works fine in a binary classification problems so that's really simple the logistic regression is using uh, the sigmoid function to solve the binary classification problems but now we are going to uh, know or learn how we are how we can implement uh, the logistic regression for binary classification I will give you an example and we uh, will code it by Python programming language Okay guys, now we are going to know how we can implement and uh, solve a binary classification problem using Python. Uh, first of all, I have to show you the data set. Our data set is about uh, the study time that the students spend for uh, getting the result in their examination. Class 0 indicates that the students failed the exam and class 1 indicates that uh, the students uh, passed the examination. So according to their study time, for example, the students who studied for two or three hours, he or she couldn't uh, pass the examination, uh, have failed the exam. And uh, the students who studied more hours than other students, uh, they could pass the examination. So they're allocated to uh, class one. Uh, okay, let's go to the code. First of all, we have to import the pandas library. As PDB because we are going to work on data frame also we need to import uh, the matplotlib because uh, we just want to scatter the data points dot 
uh, pie plot SPLT. Also from Skillern, we need to import our model, the logistic regression model. Okay. Now we need to read the data set. PD dot read CSV is a command that we are able to read the CSV file. Dataset dot CSV. Now let's uh, print the data frame that we are uh, that we see that uh, our code is working well or not. Uh, here, I just enter Python the main dot pi. So as you see here, our code is working fine, and uh, it's uh, listed the hours and the results of the students. So now we just uh, want to uh, illustrate our data points uh, in the graph. So we just want to uh, plot our data points uh, to see what. Uh, what are all classes and to understand it better so uh, for that uh, we use the plt dot scatter uh, the df dot rs and uh, the y-axis df dot result uh, yeah here is result and rs also plt dot x label ours and at last plt dot show here we just uh, show our data points in its class uh, so When we run the code, we have to uh, see the data points. Yeah, that's here. You'll see that uh, some data points are devoted to class one and others are devoted to class zero. So uh, for these type of classification problems, I told you that we, uh, we can use the sigmoid function or in fact the logistic or regression model uh, to classify the data points uh, which are devoted to one of uh, these classes zero or one so for now we have to uh, assign the input and outputs so it's better to assign the inputs here uh, df Rs can be our input and for output df dot uh, sorry results yeah now we have to create our model Okay, uh, we imported the model here, the logistic regression. So uh, our model is equal to logistic regression. We created an object of our model and we use the model that fit API for fitting our model. So our input is here and we assign our output to fit the model. Also, at the end, uh, we uh, here our model uh, will be fitted. Okay, and now for testing uh, our model, we use model dot predict 
predict as an example for example the students who studied uh, 48 hours so in fact uh, we expect that uh, the result uh, should be one because the students have studied uh, 48 hours for the examinations okay so uh, if we run the code okay here is the plot and sorry uh, let me uh, comment the plot in here I just print that uh, the model is fitted fitting down and we will show the prediction value here uh, the rest prediction value is the result okay so now oh sorry okay uh, the model is fitted here and the prediction value is one uh, because uh, the students were studied uh, 48 hours for examination and also we can try another uh, student who studied for example uh, less than this amount uh, for example uh, just two hours or one hour okay what will happen here let me save the model So the result is zero because the students only uh, studied for one hour. Okay, uh, our um, uh, example is finished right now and uh, you saw that how we can use the logistic regression model uh, for solving the binary classification problem. Okay, uh, please um, try to do this by yourself because just uh, by watching the video you're not able to understand uh, what we've done before okay so uh, you have to uh, try different examples you have to accomplish different um, examples uh, to understand it better to feel it better because uh, only by watching the videos you're not able to uh, learn how you can code uh, the machine learning or another things in fact uh, you can ask me any question if you have uh, by sending in a message on my LinkedIn or uh, by my Instagram account you can contact me so I can answer any question that you may have uh, thank you so much for watching my video have a good time